What up y'all DC Fago guy today we are going to be taking a look at Gorilla Voltage's The Lost Tapes or as I like to call it Apex The Lost Tapes. These are all the leftover tracks that did not make it to the Apex album so uh, let's jump right into this. If you guys did watch my customization I did of this and the GVEP um, obviously I had to undo it for the sake of this review so if anybody's gonna comment wondering uh, why I undid it I did it for the I, I undid it for the sake of the review because we are reviewing strictly the lost tapes so we had to we have to review it in its original form so if anybody's wondering why I undid it that's why um, the one I came up with I actually did decide to slap the GVEP cover on here in that customization if you have no clue what I'm talking about uh, link in the description will be for that customization I tend to take CDs and combine them together uh, just so that there's extra space on my shelf and and this was a, an album and the GVEP was one that I did that with so link to that will be in the description enough rambling uh, enough rambling let's jump right into this that is the front uh, okay cover um, I guess being that it was the Apex and the Lost Tapes, I, I would have gone something a little differently. It's kind of cool though. This kind of reminds me of uh, Prozac's Paranormal album, so I don't fully, uh, I don't fully think this fits in with the concept of uh, Apex. I guess you could say. But then again, it's called the Lost Tapes. I guess it doesn't really have to have a concept, does it? I don't know. I guess I would, I would have expected something different. But it, it is what it is. I'm not going to nitpick that. Uh, jump right in there is no book to this it is just a little sleeve here and it says here these songs were recorded during the apex sessions and left unreleased until now we proudly present and then uh, the lost tapes now found and then obviously goes through the credits for the tracks we'll get into the tracks here in a moment there is the disc just like the front pop it open or pop the disc out you have that design there which is very similar to the GVEP which is ultimately why I combined the two because they were almost almost very identical almost so we'll flip it around to the back which will have the track list which is now and forever cold cruel world Concrete sea. The concrete sea is where you win and I start. It's the concrete sea. So don't you dare be. Swim your Go big. Hang the way and you can't stop rap jugging out of way too big. Abezilla. Jaw shatter, so what's next? Go back to the base X T D A P D A Pex. I could be the bookie. Man, I'm such a sick pup. I up chug dialect a live up from both fist fuck. Lie. Keep your head up, ain't done yet. Still ain't dead. Truth is next, yeah. Everything I know is a lie. Everything I know is a bow face. I, I breeze my Hella white tiger. Trapped inside a cell, there's a war inside my mind until my time to retire. Uh, we be out of sight. We, we, we be out of mind. What's real? Yo, cocaine, tell me what's real. Hands up. Dreams. Fuck shit up. And no rest. Can't hear my heart, can't go back to start. Remember me when I depart. I ain't never gonna rest in peace. Even when I'm dead, I ain't gonna. So the tracks from this that were on the GVEP, Now and Forever, Hella White Tiger, and Dreams, they were more or less. Uh, uh, samples I guess you could say I don't want to say full-on samples they were uh, they were little uh, little goodies that were given on that EP that ultimately came here so uh, favorite tracks now and forever I, I loved it on the GVEP I still love it now and in fact 
where it's at on this versus that EP, it fits in a lot better. That because the, the beginning of the song starts slow. So, uh, Cold Cruel World, very good jam. Uh, I get into it quite a bit. Concrete Sea, I like. Go Big is the shit. Apezilla starts off with a good little uh, cartoon kind of uh, instrumental. Actually, I remember listening to it. I was like, are we watching a movie or what? And then it gets into the song. Burr, 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 burr. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, What's Real is fucking dope, man. The way that they both started their verses identical and then just went in and flowed. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Hands up, another good one. Uh, Fuck Shit Up was very, very short. and ends off with a dope little kind of skit from... Uh, uh, Step Brothers. Mr. Jeter is ready for your interview. Actually, we'll be interviewing as a team. We're here to fuck shit up. We're here to fuck shit up. <laughs> I thought that was pretty fucking dope. All in all, I think this is a good release. I could see maybe why they left him out, but on the same hand, there were tracks on here that I really would have loved to have seen make it onto onto Apex. Those being Hell White Tiger should have made it. Hands Up should have made it. Um, What's Real should have made it. Now and Forever should have made it. Cold Cruel World would have made it perfectly fine. I loved it. Uh, Go Big was a pretty good jam as well that should have made it. And Apezilla. I feel like Apezilla was just a dope fucking banger. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Just the way that beat goes, man. I feel like that should have been maybe somewhere towards the tail end of Apex but on the same hand then it's like what song would you have scrapped from there to to allow this one to make it you know it's kind of a trade off what what al- what songs would you trade from that album to allow these to have made it or could they have just made the album longer they could have always done that one thing i like about Tech 9 is he jam packs his CDs full so i don't know i guess a lot of these could have should have made it Obviously, they could have uh, they could have saved some of them, put them on the album, made the album a little bit longer, and then left these to become what it is now, the the lost tapes, or even let the GVEP then be packed full more of these along with that that goodie of, of the new album. So I don't know. I feel like a lot of these could have made it. They're they're pretty dope. Um, this this I, I listen to this more in the car than just relaxing at home or on my lunch break at work. I actually I, I tried listening to this at work on my lunch break and I ended up stopping and listening to something else. This is definitely good ride music. It's good to bump in the car, so definitely take it in the car with you if you pick it up. All in all, I think it was a good release. There's a lot of tracks. Should have made it. Could have made it. And uh, hopefully next time that they do their when they do their next album, not hopefully next time when they do their next album, hopefully they have more jam packed on there because I don't know. Co- Gorilla Voltage seems to be. Um, there's no direct kind of style by these guys so I think there's no theme that they need to specifically hold to an album I think they could just record a song and put it on the album and let it be that you know what I mean so all in all I think it's dope pretty cool little badge there welcome to the underground um, I've had some new um, satellite views on m and I may or may not make a video about it but I've, I've kind of satellite everything after last year and I've kind of come to a new uh, realization or a new outlook on MNE and the whole situation with the label. So, all in all, I think it's dope. It's worth picking up, especially if you're a Gorilla Voltage fan. If you're not a Gorilla Voltage fan, you could probably just pass it up. But I think it's worth picking up, especially if you are a fan. So, those are my thoughts. Leave your thoughts down below. If you have heard it, tell me what your favorite tracks are. And thank you guys for watching.